What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Commissions are a powerful tool for motivating and incentivizing a sales team. They incentivize performance, boost productivity, and encourage healthy competition. But commissions can be difficult to track, especially with a growing sales team where we have different commission structures. Since different sales teams have varying expectations, handle different levels of customers, and maybe even manage different products, we often have to track multiple commission structures all at the same time. Here at Stealthy Wood, we're implementing a new commission plan that calculates each salesperson's commission quarterly. I'm extremely excited to see sales go up, and I'm sure the sales team is excited for their reward. So, let's get started. All right, we're getting started here in our sales app. Let's make sure sales commissions are enabled by heading to configuration, followed by settings. And we're just going to scroll all the way down to our invoicing section and just tick this checkbox next to commissions. And then we'll click save before moving on. After we save, a new commissions button is available here at our top menu. Today, we're going to cover how to set up commission plans and what they look like for the team on the commissions dashboard. So let's click into commissions and click on commission plans. And here we see a list of all the commission plans set up in my company and a quick overview of their configurations. We'll click new in the top left corner. And here in the commission plan configuration form, under commission plan, we're going to name this 2025 quarterly. And by default, a new commission plan is based on achievements per salesperson. This means that commissions are based on a flat percentage of the value of a salesperson's invoices. Let's base this commission plan on targets. This means that commissions are awarded based on the percentage of the target each salesperson hits. This opens up a new field where we can also set the on-target commission. This is the dollar amount that each salesperson will receive if they hit their target. So let's click into this field and change this from 1,000 to 2,000. Now, the effective period here on the right specifies the commission plan start and end dates determining the eligible period for paid invoices. Given that we're doing this for quarterly commissions throughout all of 2025, we'll maintain these start and end dates. This is a quarterly commission plan, so we'll keep this target frequency field set to quarterly, but for other plans, we do also have monthly and yearly. But we're going to keep this on quarterly, like I mentioned. So to set our invoicing targets, we'll click on this targets tab right here. Since we set the target frequency to quarterly, the periods here have been auto populated. Here we can click into each target field to set the amount to $10,000. Just like so. This is the goal I expect each salesperson to aim for each quarter. We can grant commissions based on the performance of an individual salesperson or on the overall performance of an entire sales team, depending on what's selected here at the top half. If we change this to team performance, these are typically used for sales managers commissions, and that would mean that my bonus is dependent on the entire team achieving their goals. However, for this plan, we're focused on individual salespeople, so I'm going to change this back. Moving on here in the Achievements tab, we'll set how we calculate the target for this plan. Here we have a few different options for calculating targets, like we have quantity sold, we have margin, but I want to calculate the target based off of the amount invoiced, so I'm going to click on Amount Invoiced. Next, we'll click on the rate percentage here on the right, and we're going to change this to 100%. This means that we're using the entire dollar amount of the invoice to calculate commission targets. Now, to assign commission to our salespeople, we'll just click salespeople here on the right, and we'll click add new salesperson. And we're going to select our newest account manager, Mindy. Of course, we can go back and add multiple salespeople to this plan, but for now, we're just going to focus on Mindy. Now, in the From column right here, this lets us know the first invoice they sent that falls within the commission plan's effective period. Since this plan is only going to calculate commissions up to the end of the year, we can leave this to column blank. 
Otherwise, we can set the end dates for the individual salespeople in case they need specific dates that are different from the plan. Here in the other plans column, this lets us know the other commission plans that each salesperson is a part of. And if we quickly add, for example, Mitchell Admin here, it looks like he's assigned to the manager achievement plan. As a manager, we want him to focus on motivating the team and hitting their goals instead of participating in this plan. So I'm just gonna click the trash icon on this line. Lastly, let's set tiers in this commission tab. Examining the target completion field right here, as well as the commission field, we see that each salesperson earning 100% of their commission will receive $2,000. I think that's some great commission, but let's add a few extra tiers. We'll click in the commission column for 50% here, and we're going to update this to 500. That means if the person hits 50% of their target, they'll be given $500 in commission, of course. Not bad, but what if we want to motivate salespeople to go above and beyond their target? Let's add a couple more percentage points to sweeten this deal. I'll just click add a new commission level. And here I'm going to type in 150%. And in the commission field right here to the right of it, we're going to update this to 3,500. And let's also add another one for 200%. And we're going to update this to $4,000. Here in the graph, we have a visual representation of our commission plan. We can see that it's a bit of a curve with a slow start, and it gets steeper after the 50 to 100% mark. So we're going to click Approve here in the top left corner to begin calculating commissions. To edit this later or add more salespeople, we can use this Reset to Draft button. Once the commission plan is approved, it calculates commissions for the assigned salespeople based on confirmed invoices. And there you have it, Odoers. Stay tuned for more tutorials on our brand new sales commission feature. And of course, catch you in the next video.